The first time I saw RWV, I was walking along the uh, Chicago Lakefront uh, by myself when I saw a bunch of red-shirted RWV Eagles running with Old Glory together. And I remember looking down at my bum foot and realizing I couldn't do something like that. I had right tibial nerve damage from a gunshot wound that I sustained in Ramadi, Iraq in 2004. At that time, I was struggling with alcohol, painkillers that I had from my gunshot wound. Uh, I was getting out of college and I was worried about unemployment to where I was going with my life. And I was just in, in a depressed state of mind where I didn't have a sense of purpose. I, I lost the camaraderie that I had when I was in the military. November 28, 2004, I was deployed in Ramadi, Iraq with 2nd Battalion, 5th Marines. We were doing a patrol at the time, and I was a Humvee driver with a gunner. Before I know it, three, four AK-47s opened up on us, and I instinctively started running behind the Humvee. Before I get behind the Humvee, I got shot in the leg. I fell behind the Humvee and threw my saw gun down. I still had a nine mil, and I called in my medevac. Within minutes, the doc came and medevaced me out of there. After a few weeks of medical leave, I returned to San Diego to be with my unit. I was excited and I felt guilty that I didn't get the opportunity to finish the deployment. I was quickly blindsided by a story that a friend of mine told me about my gunner. My gunner told the rest of my unit that the day that I got shot, I threw my machine gun on the ground and quit. I gave up the fight and I didn't return fire. I was quickly blindsided, embarrassed, and ashamed that he thought so little of me to say something like that. It tore me apart physically and mentally. And even to this day, it's hard for me to tell that story. Sadly, I can't even get closure with my gunner because he passed away in a motorcycle accident. After I went to my first Team Red, White and Blue events, I quickly became addicted to the positive culture and atmosphere that it provided for me. I was so active that I was asked to be part of the leadership team. I was Veteran Outreach Coordinator, Veteran Outreach Director, and after a few months, I became the Chicago Chapter Captain, where I led the entire chapter. I now have more confidence and self-esteem that I didn't have after I got shot in Iraq. Team RWB has saved me. Team Red, White and Blue has provided me the opportunity to lead others, to be their beacon of light. Just like Team Red, White and Blue has helped me, I now have the opportunity to pay it forward and help them. There's an old African proverb that perfectly sums up what Team Red, White and Blue has discovered. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together.